Hey guys, welcome back to Blue Melon Designs Tutorials. Uh, here uh, I'm Juan again, and what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be talking about creating a brush pattern. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is just these effective lines. But what I've done here, just in purpose of the demonstration, is if you wanted to create this effect, a lot of you would actually create one shape like that, option click and drag, and command D to copy it several times. Now, that's going to have, I mean, if you have a long line or if you have to create certain things, duplicating this is probably not the best idea. It can work and you can get the effect you want, but, you know, down the bottom is not really nice. You want to keep, you know, all the angles the same and you want to sort of have a repeat pattern going on between all these things. And we're going to do that today using our brush palette. So I'm going to duck it out. I'm just going to put my brush palette out just like that. And what I'm going to do is, by the way, you need to have a little bit of um, knowledge in Illustrator. You don't have to be a master or anything, just a little bit, so we can actually spend more time in certain things rather than telling you where the tools are. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my polygon tool and I'm going to create a triangle. Now, if you're not used to this tool, you need to go up and down in order to increase or decrease the amount of size of sides that you want. And at the moment, I just want this one that's got three little uh, a simple triangle. Using my scissors tool or C in your keyboards, looks like that little guy. I'm gonna cut. So you need to click on those anchor points, and I'm gonna delete the baseline. So I've got the, the, the line that I want. You can actually make it taller or or shorter depending on what you want, or I can actually shrink the size a little. Now before I actually jump and do the actual brush. I'm going to simulate how it's going to look. You know, I want to see how it's going to look. So I'm going to copy one. So I'm going to go Option to copy, Shift, click, and drag until it snaps using my Smart Guides. Command U to turn them on, or, or you can go to your View Guide Smart Guides. Make sure that's on, so it'll snap. And down the bottom to fix this little problem that I really don't like. What I need you to do is go to your Direct Selection tool, A, or these little arrows. Uh, and I want you to drag a marquee around it and we're going to join these two. So I want you to go Command J. And I'm giving you a lot of shortcuts but it's because I'm assuming that you know a little bit what's going on here. So now we've got this little corner fine. Now I don't want pointy corners. I want to change the pointy, corner, the pointy corners to this little top one, the last one. So it's kind of flattened down the bottom. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. However, if I was going to create a brush right now, it's not going to work. Uh, let's have a look at what would happen. I'm just going to click, and the way this works is you're on your brushes. Click and drag on your brushes palette, and we're going to select the, the last option, pattern brush. Click OK, and it takes you to this window. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one because I know this is going to not going to work. So I'm going to call this triangle, triangle, wrong. I know it's not OK. I just want to show you what will happen. Um, so I'm going to create a line and make sure you've got the stroke selected and apply it to the stroke. Now it seems to me that, oh, at a glance it's working pretty cool, but you can see now that we, ha we still have those problems. Like we fix it in some areas, we fix it here and we fix it there, that's fine. But there's still some joints that doesn't look okay, it doesn't look proper. Now how would I get rid of that? I'm going to delete that for a second. What Illustrator is doing, and I know it's a bit, I'm going to delete wrong. Um, what Illustrator is doing here is, let's simulate what it's actually doing. It's actually grabbing these and repeating that sort of graphic. And it's placing it just next to the other one like that. And you can see that that's exactly what's happening. We've actually have an arrange the other ones. Like when these two get together, when the line on the left gets next to the line on the right, it's causing that little effect that I don't want. That sort of angle that it's really not really nice. I'm going to um, fix this really quickly. And what we need to do is I'm going to join these two. Again, direct selection tool, select both of these anchor points and command J to join them. And this is where we have to change our kind of way of thinking. What I need to do is, instead of having this little tab on an angle, it has to be a straight line. Now to do that, I'm going to come here 
and I'm going to put a line using my guides just where that anchor point is and I'm going to put a line just there too, just where that anchor point is. So I've got two lines, two, two guides, pretty much exactly where the anchor point is being. Now, the trick is, I need to, well not the trick, <laughs> but um, what I need to do is, what you guys need to do is, we need to expand this stroke into a natural shape. Because what I'm going to do is, I want to cut this, I want to get rid of, I want to have that to be part of the shape. I want this to be straight. I don't want it to be on an angle, as I said before. To do that, we need to expand this stroke. Now, to expand this stroke, you go to Object, Expand. I don't want to expand my field. I only need to expand this stroke. What that does is, as you can see now, I've got the stroke expanded. This is before, just a simple line. This is after. It becomes a shape. It's not a stroke anymore. Stroke, and now we've got a shape. What I'm going to do is, similar to what we did when we deleted the baseline of my triangle, get to your scissors tool or C, and I'm going to place a little, I'm going to cut just there in the middle using my guide. When it says intersect, I'm going to cut that. Now, what I'll do is, use your direct selection tool, drag a marquee, and I'm going to just click delete once, and we managed to delete the left section. Now I don't need this piece here, so delete that one too. I'm going to turn my guides off, command semicolon, and you can see that we've got an open path. Open paths can create a little bit of problems, especially when we're doing stuff like these. So I'm going to get my direct selection tool, select both of my anchor points, and command J to join them. And you can see that creates exactly the line we need. Let's have a look at this one. I'm going to do exactly the same thing just right here. Select, I'm going to select my shape, use my scissor tool, I'm going to cut where it says intersect. Then what I'll do is, zoom out a little, direct selection tool. So I select just the section on the right that I don't need. Let's delete it. I'm going to zoom back in there really quickly and I still need to get rid of this guy that I don't need. Yeah. Turn off my guides, command semicolon, direct selection tool again, and I'm going to drag my key around and command J. That would create the line we need. Now, if I know that it sounds like a lot of um, little tiny commands, what I'm going to do is let's simulate how this works. Option shift drag, and I'm going to let it, as soon as it snaps, you can see that that's pretty much what we need. Now I can see that it's working. Cool thing about the pattern brush, it doesn't need to be only a stroke. You can have shapes, and that's pretty cool about shape about brushes themselves. So now what I can do is just click and drag, drop into your brushes, pattern brush, click OK, and I'm gonna call this tri triangle pattern. Pretty cool, I'm gonna leave all the scaling and everything just the way it is. You can see now we can see the symbol of what we created and basically it's saying we're going to use this side as a tile when you're doing corners like for example if you were going to do a square or something you would have to create another one specifically for these sort of um, the corners that go out or the corners that go in we're not going to get into that we don't have a lot of time something important colorization method I'm going to choose tints and shades so I can actually change the color of the stroke and click OK finally create a, a line with your line tool this guy there, the segment tool, line segment tool, or just line, line, crazy names, and apply it. And you can see now the cool thing about having it like that is you can have it small, you can have it really big, you can do a lot of things around these, and you're going to be okay. So this is pretty much how you create a very simple triangle pattern brush. Hope you enjoy it. Sorry for the rush. Quick video for those ones that don't have a lot of time. If you have any questions, please let us know. Okay, bye.